So we're doing something that personally I think is a terrible idea. It's my great fear that I'm going to face now. But um, I've hurt my leg. So I um, think it might be a shin splint at the, the bottom bit. And a few people have said, go and put your leg in, in the, the water, in the sea. And Keith, if for the people that don't know, has a phobia of putting his feet in the sea because they're sea creatures which are clearly going for his feet. Okay, I'm just going to show you why it's dangerous. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. And a, a rare everything. attack beast. I am scared of. <laughs> so, I'm going to go and put my foot. feet in the sea. Let's see if you can get away with putting one foot in, I... I think there's a jellyfish on my leg. Here's Keith. It's wet and it's sandy. He's loving it very much. He's... And there's a... I think that's another Portuguese man of war. <laughs> there are little... Uh... Ah. What are they called? Well, there's seaweed and things. He's very, very brave. Ah, uh, there's one. Keith, great fear. I've got one for you. It's over there in the top. It's not very big. Where? Over there somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but I've got a video of it. There. That's my great horror. You know, right can, there. you know, it can get as big as a car, right? I know. That's the size of the one that attacked me when we were in hmm. the Seychelles. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're done. Been <laughs> so in the is sea. your leg all better now? Is I'm it? wet. Leg is totally healed. I think, oh my word, there's another one. <laughs> that's three jellyfish. That's Or four jellyfish. Yeah, that's, that's there's a, virtual... a lot more he didn't see, but sure, there were four jellyfish. That's a virtual swarm. Mm -hmm. Where's me towel? Everybody. Uh, welcome to day 22 Three? of 20. Welcome to day 23 of the Chunky Trundler Boot Camp. It's not good, we're losing days. Uh, yeah, uh, time is literally just disappearing. Uh, first things first, if there's a big gust of smoke, it's just because we're warming up a barbecue. We're not on fire anymore. No, we just moved because it kept, kept getting smoke signaled. Mm. So, um, there's been a few developments. Uh, nothing majorly bad. Uh, we've just had to make a few changes uh, as we're going. Number one is um, I've injured my leg. Yeah, we think he's overdone it when we're walking on the tarmac and developed the start of shin splints. Mm, so, so we've taped him up good, given him a lot of painkillers. Hopefully caught it nice and early. Yeah. We, didn't, we weren't stupid, we didn't just keep ploughing on. No, and we've taken two days basically off. Yeah, there was no then, filming yesterday no. at all. And um, we did the uh, the walk from Akil from to Mulrani, which was the 16 kilometer that turned out to be a lot harder than we thought. Because uh, we couldn't sit down anyway. Could no, we? and it was all ever so slightly uphill, which uh, mm. apparently I don't know if it's a different angle or just overuse. And it was we just put more weight in the uh, the rucksack, and it turns out my leg is a total wimp um, because it started hurting. Yeah probably about just over halfway and then by the time I got to the end I was in quite a bit of pain. We think it is a start of shin splints because oh. it's when he's lifting his foot up yeah. that triggers it. So So well. yesterday we, we pretty much did a, a complete zero yesterday. We we spent the day doing planning. Yeah, we went through... Um, the itinerary, didn't we? Yes. For Prince Edward Island. Yes, which was a good thing to do because mm -hmm. that scared the living daylights out of us. Yeah. There's a lot of kilometres there. But it'll be fine. We've started jiggling a little bit around on some of the stuff that we think we can do yeah. and hopefully that'll work and if, if it goes 
completely off the rails. We're just gonna have to do some bicycling here and there. But we will make it around that island come hella high water. Yeah, I mean, it, it's normal to get sort of pretty long distance uh, walk jitters. And, and yesterday was one of those days where- It certainly did before the Camino. Yeah, mentally yesterday was, was a tough day. It was. Um, and I think even the day before. Yeah. We started getting down on ourselves a little bit, I think. Yeah, nerves. Can we do this? It's you know, it's twice as long. Um, the fitness. We're not. You know, will we get to the point yeah. that we want to be? Specifically because Keith's legs were hurting. Our leg was hurting. And hmm. so, yeah. So yesterday was a, a bit of a planning day, a bit of a reflection day. Yes. Uh, we're rallied. We're back up. Yeah. Um, we know um, the PI is going to be tough. It is going to be tough. But we've we've still got three weeks. You know, we've got three weeks to crank our distance up. And, and we're stubborn. And we're stubborn, and believe it or not, we, sometimes we're a little bit smart. <laughs> it's so, happened. Um, we, we're just readjusting everything to make sure that uh, we're in the shape that we want to be in. Yeah. Uh, but come on, hello high water, we will be at PEI and slogging around there, so uh, there's no threat to that in any way, shape or form. No, not at all. Yeah, but <laughs> we're, we're developing trail legs, so yes. you know, we're, we're expecting it. At least we want hopefully get this when we start the walk like we yeah. did on the uh, Camino. Another thing we are going to do slightly differently than we were going to do originally is we have decided to bounce our bags. So we will not be carrying all our clothes and stuff um, yeah. from, from or between the accommodation which we were going to do. Yeah, so um, when we had a look at the, the distances that we need to do on a daily basis, Yes, uh, if, it, if it was the same amount as the Camino, we think we'd be probably fine because uh, yeah. we you know we did it on the Camino. We carried our own bags in the Camino, but this is a Camino Plans on two. top of a, cami a Camino and then some on top. So we know yeah. that the uh, it will rack up. And the average distances is a lot higher. And you know I, we know everyone else is hiking PCTs and everything else, but we're chunky trundlers. We've got so, to do what we can do, and yeah. we'd rather succeed than. It's a quantum leap for us. So um, we are currently looking then at, at doing um, bag drops. Um, yeah. So we'll be slack packing it between the distances, uh, between the accommodations. And um, if that's what it takes for us to do it, well, then that's what it's going to We don't care. Take, no. <laughs> we just want to walk PEI yeah. and, and not be in pieces when we've I'd rather it. say, boy, that was an easy day. I wish I had a, a much heavier pack. Yeah, we could I have would. done that with a pack than, <laughs> than injure ourselves and, and have to pull out part way through. Uh, that's just not an option. No. So, um, so there we go. That's that's one slight change. So that takes the pressure off to a degree. Yeah. Um, it literally. also means that when we, yeah, literally, it also means that we're going to adjust how we're doing the walks here. We weren't getting up to the distances that but, we were wanting. Uh, we have added. We've we've added distance. We've added uh, weight to the packs. Uh, We've had a Along with trying dieting to diet crazy and amounts. live in a tent. Yeah, so um, it's, it's a lot of, of, of moving parts that are suddenly very different. So. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're very, very happy with it. Uh, we are getting there. Um, I love staying in the tent. It's really fun for me. I'm really enjoying that. Yeah, so that we'll, part is, is epic. Whereas when we were on the Camino, you know, the, the, the thought of sharing bathrooms and stuff, that was a very uh, foreign concept for us. We Every single accommodation on the Camino Everything was squeaky clean. It was spotless. Yeah. yeah, but we have not been used to sharing bathrooms no. with anyone, so that was a change. And here, um, you certainly you we're know, sharing a... A bathrooms with sometimes up to five hundred people. Yes. So yeah, that's fine there. So suddenly no sharing a bathroom, a bathroom with you know three or four people, that's going to be a major uh, upshift. Yeah. Uh, improvement, um, and obviously we'll be sleeping in beds, uh, whereas at the moment we're sleeping on squeaky air mattresses. I would also like to point out the beds would probably be level. The tent yes. is many, many things, but level is not one and of them. And chances are the, like this. the bathroom will be next door. It won't <laughs> be across the other side of a campsite. <laughs> and there probably won't be what sounded like children's concerts and uh, guitars and singing no. and things on a regular basis. And car alarms. Oh, the car alarms. So we, from that perspective, um, that's going to be a quantum leap in luxury um, when we hit PEI. Distance-wise, uh, we were being quite hard on ourselves over the last couple of days. Yeah, we were. Uh, beating ourselves up for not hitting the distances that several months ago, sitting in a nice, comfy uh, you know, place. I think for me, it was the fact that because we'd made a schedule that's ramped up a little bit, in my head, getting to 16 and 17 kilometers every day 
would not be hard. Would, but you know would what? Be straightforward. It is. It, yeah, for us, it, 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 it was hard, it is hard. Hmm. Um, and so we were getting a little bit down on ourselves that we weren't yeah. hitting those mileages, the mileage that we wanted on a daily basis, and pushing ourselves to get to that has sort of resulted in my leg doing what it's doing. So we're going to... Still push it. ourselves, actually. We're st we are still pushing ourselves. Yes. It's still a boot camp. Mm. Um, but we're not going to add as many things in as no. quickly as we, we would We will work do. on the distance more than adding um, weight to the backpacks. Because in our minds, when we were increasing the distances, we'd get faster and faster and faster. But of course we weren't because we were adding more and more and yeah. more weight Every as we went. We so we, we were not feeling that we were getting anywhere. No. Uh, it, it didn't feel like we were improving and we are improving. We've, we've lost weight. We're, you know, we're living in a tent now completely normally. It's, it's going to be so bizarre to be in a house again. <laughs> And, and the distances, yeah. you know, we, we can feel the distance, uh, the difference on our, on our bodies. Mm. Uh, clothes feel different. Um, so we, we know different. we're getting into better and better shape. Yeah. So um, actually a, a friend of ours, uh, one of the subscribers, Ash, actually sent us a, a very opportune message Yeah, that, was, that was very sweet. Uh, that really so picked me up. Thank you for that, Ash. You unknowingly hit the, the nail right on the head uh, on, a, on yeah. a day that we really needed it. Yeah, that was very good. Uh, yeah, thank you. There for we that. go. So good news. Everything is is still on. Uh, we are tweaking the schedules and things. We're going to tweak our uh, training uh, regime a little bit. We're going to focus on the distance mm. rather than piling more and more distance and more weight and on. Weight as well. Yeah, and everything else. Yeah. Um, we've decided that the most important thing is to get fitter uh, and to be able to walk bigger distances easier. Yes. So that's what we're going to focus on, um, obviously while still living in tent. So another thing we did today, because you probably noticed the ninja chair Keith has, has, has now migrated into another Ooh, yes. ninja chair. And because we absolutely love these Helinoxes so much, we have gone ahead and bought lightweight uh, backpacking I think that, chairs. Yeah, back hiking chairs. Yeah. So because we need to sit down, that's <coughs> the fact of life. You know, the chunky you're... bench. Yeah. So um, we're we're bringing our benches now. now. Yes. <laughs> we will never be without a bench no. again because we will simply get it out of our backpack. It's less than one kilogram. Yeah. So we will never now be without a bench. No. There we go. We're Bring going to carry bench. our bench with us. That's how important it is. B-Y-O-B. So there we go. Um, we will see you later, everyone, with further updates during the week. Take good care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Good morning everybody and yeah. welcome to day 24. I can't tell, I think so. Day 24, pretty sure, of the Chunky Trundler Boot Camp. Now we've learned from our mistakes, it's slightly raining and we've put the ponchos on. Yeah, apparently today is going to be raining all day. We say raining, sort of more showers I think, But all we're not day. risking the one from last time where we walked to Tebs and got drained. Um, so the good news is my uh, leg has improved uh, quite significantly. It's probably the water. <laughs> I did go in the sea, yes, as you might have seen. So maybe you'll do it again this afternoon in the rain. Oh, we'll maybe not. See. I think I'm quite healed now. <laughs> so we're still going to take it easy. Uh, 12 kilometers today. We've readjusted our packs to be more um, in line with what we're going to have on Prince Edward Island, i.e. they will not be sort of 10 kilometer jobs, uh, 10 kilogram, uh, kilogram jobs. Uh, they, were, they are much lighter now. Yeah, um, much better. We've got our new fangled um, hiking chairs with us, so hopefully we'll get to see them in action. Yeah, so we'll take you along with us on the day and we'll see you later. Take care everyone. Bye. Bye. So this turned into a bit of a mystery and once again the word gourmet is luring us in with gourmet toasties but try as we might we cannot find this thing so if you are the owner of the Akil Railway gourmet toasty place 
let us know where you are because we can't find you. There we go. Pond showed up. We just don't care. Nope. No. I almost said do your worst I kill weather, but I changed no, my mind. No, he didn't mean that. Definitely didn't. So far so good though. So the wind is coming from over there, and that's where all the cloud is. However, ponchos up. We have deponchoed because down there there's not technically any blue sky, but it's not as cloudy and dark as it is over the other side. Kind of squinty. Yeah, let's see what happens. It's. I think it might be too windy for the chairs here. They'll fly off. Come on. Your public awaits. They want to see you put up a, <laughs> a hyper light chair in gale force winds. Nobody wants to see that. It is exceptionally windy. Mm. It's not as easy as, as the other one. Do you want to stuff your paper in my pocket? It's okay, I'll put it in here. Remember folks, don't try this at home. <laughs> this is a trained chunky trundler. <laughs> about to unleash <laughs> her martial art skills <laughs> on this. <laughs> Look at the fluid motion. <laughs> like a well-oiled martial arts machine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Frame assembled. Let me think. People have driven down here to see this specifically. <laughs> You're so not funny. So is it... I don't know how to do this. The is back it... bit goes... The way you're holding now goes on the long sticks. <laughs> you see the, the well-trained foot. This is the first time she's done this. Stop it, I'm dying. Your laughter. This has not been rehearsed. <laughs> she is naturally this fast <laughs> and skillful at putting up chairs. Okay, so far we're on 15 minutes. You can do it. Believe, I can't, I can't do believe it. Believe in yourself, Tina. I can't. It won't come this far. You can do it. I, can't, I literally cannot do it. You have to do it. I can't pull it that Okay, hang on. Let me have a go. <laughs> so here we go for the, the last corner. Oh, well done. I'm hoping it'll get easier. So this here is a Helinox Chair, Chair one. 1. Lightweight outdoor adventure equipment. So. Here we go. This is our great hope for PEI. Oh yeah. I'll do. Excellent. Okay, my turn. <laughs> okay, people. Now that he's seen how it's done, he's about to attempt. This is where I do littering now, and my paper blows halfway across County Mayo. I'm hoping not. Ooh, close call. Got it. My ninja reflexes, once again, <laughs> coming into play. Don't have enough pockets, huh? All right, let's see if he's learned anything from the martial arts experience that I just displayed for him. 
It feels like I'm about to play the bagpipes or something. Please don't hit yourself with the nunchucks. What's with the swivel? I don't know. But it does do that. It does do the that. The others don't. I think I was... it's just an added layer of fighting I'm... capability. I'm not prepared for this swivelation. The swivelocity. Is that right? It can flip. Yeah, they, they've got to be on the back. Now, do you think the bottom bit goes on first? No. No, that's I, not right. I'm... That's. There we go. Have I done? Yeah, there we go. Now we're, now we're cooking. <laughs> can hear people coming. No, it's definitely not the bottoms first. Hello. Hi. People, he's going to fail here. Because the tops are much deeper. Right, here we go. This is where the challenge comes on the last one. This is where it twangs up and hits me in the nose. <laughs> it's in. Well done. All right. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Well done. Oh, that's nice. Yep. So we've learned our lesson here. Last time we sat on this wall, and yet just over there, there is a bench. And there it is. Our usual amazing views of the mountain, or hills. It looks like rain, but I think it's only cloud coming down. Hopefully the microphones are doing a good job. So, it's cold. It's a bit wet and we've still got nearly three kilometers to go. It's time for the Kendall mint cake. A bit of KMC will fix everything. Last two pieces of this packet. Is that the one we took with us from, or is it a new one? Uh, no, it is a new one. So we have had a new one since then. Honestly, it really does work. Kendall mint cake for the win. So that's a little bit better, a little bit of Kendall mint cake. It's still a bit wet, as you can see. Um, I would say you could see behind us, but you can't. There's nothing there now. There are hills and things up there, but... <laughs> You're just gonna have to believe us not when we today. see it. So it's not raining as such. I think we're just in a cloud, so... Um, everything is just wet but luckily we put the ponchos on so we're good mystery solved we've found the Akil railway gourmet thing there's a small coffee cart in there so there we go that's where the gourmet toasties live hurrah <laughs> Today looks very similar to yesterday. A whole heap of cloud. But it's that one there that rolls off that big hill and swamps us when we're walking down the trail. 
Okay. okay, we'll take you with us and see what happens. See you later. Bye. Bye. So I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of sunny. Somewhere, there we go. A tiny little bit of blue. It's officially sunny on Akil High. Look, sun. <laughs> Tina's off looking for a place for us to deploy the chairs. Yeah. And she's found one. new little tent. The mini Trunla tent. <laughs> I've got one too. And suddenly it's sunny. Kind of. Over there's a little bit of sun anyway. Not so much over there. Hey everybody. So we here we are sitting in our little chairs. Um, we are how many kilometres in? Um, eight kilometres in, so just over halfway. Yeah, uh, we're just doing 15 kilometres today. Today's the first sort of longer-ish day uh, after my uh, little leg thing, uh, which is totally fine now, by the way. Uh, mm. So it's a good move taking a couple of days off, just resting it and taking mm. some painkillers. That tape is doing a good job. Yeah, the KT tape or whatever it's called is uh, superb. Um, so yeah, uh, there we go. Chairs good. Yeah, chairs are excellent. Weather they're, being they're pretty good. They're a game changer, really. Um, and then we're just going to head back in and uh, maybe have early dinner. Yeah, like so we like. We've only had breakfast and half a, an energy bar each. <laughs> now I'm hungry. <laughs> so, we'll see you later. Take good care, everybody. Bye. Bye. out it's behaving like a parachute <laughs> so holding your bag there we go that's better so a few minutes ago it started raining and Tina poncho. deployed the magic poncho she said do you want your poncho I said I'll just wait for a few minutes there's no rain now still might get me but we'll see Thank you.